Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your November 2017 general reading. This is uh, going to be a general reading, so whatever comes up, comes up. It may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for Libra Sun and Rising Signs. I have pre-shuffled these decks, so when I'm told to stop, I am going to stop. I don't do reversed, but I do consider the reversed with every reading. The reversed of every card is considered during the reading. The basis of your reading is the Knight of Cups. That represents a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it also represents love. So for the month of November, you guys may be having a new love come in. All right. I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in correctly, and it does look pretty good. All right. So I'm going to leave it as is. Okay. So we do have Pisces, Cancer, uh, Scorpio pretty prominent here. We have Virgo. We have Taurus and Leo. Um, we have you, and then we have Gemini and Aquarius as well, um, and that is what we have. So anyhow, I think the basis of your reading is about love. I think many of you are wishing for love to come in, or love is actually coming in this month. Um, and I think it's, it's time, okay? I think that something has, has become final, all right? There's some finality here where some truth has come out and it has caused a big change in your life and I think that perhaps many of you may be accepting new love or new love is on its way after a period of solitude so I think many of you have been through a period of refocusing your plans maybe you've decided that you're ready for something new um, you're ready for a change you're bringing your your vibrancy back your beauty you're probably shining very bright um, maybe you're celebrating um, your newfound love if you've already found it or you're celebrating that you're open to it, okay? Um, I see that there's been some changes, okay? Uh, I think good luck is on the way or on your side, thankfully. I think there's some fast-moving energy. And, I, and, it, and, and for many of you, it's re in regards to a relationship. I think that you guys have had a change of heart in many, for many of you. Like I said, this may or may not resonate with everybody. But I do definitely see for many of you there's a new partner, maybe a new sexual partner or a new partner, you know, period. There is a new partnership where there's going to be, where there's a, like a new growth or a new awakening. There's definitely um, an awakening here. There's a breakthrough, and I think it, re and it is in regards to love. I think there's a lot of love this month coming your way, Libra, and it brings stability and security, something that you've been waiting for. Congratulations. I do see a couple of new opportunities that were given to you from above. Okay, one of them was clarity, clear thinking, and the other was growth. So I think that this month things are finally starting to happen for you and I think it is definitely regarding emotional support you know emotional commitment of some sort um, let me get the next deck I do see some change okay change I think it's away from depression I think that you any depression that you've had is starting to dwindle and I think that you have worked hard to, to release it um, and I, I really see that they like it's a time of renewal okay for you I think it's this month of the month of November looks very very bright um, and I think that you're feeling probably very renewed and I think that you're probably vibrating very high and your beauty is is really showing your inner and outer beauty is evident all right Libra this is for man or woman um, congratulations and you've done it You've you've taken the the action to change your thoughts. That's what I think. Um, I don't. I think that you've just decided. You know what? I want something more than than this, and I'm going for it. 
because I think perhaps something didn't turn out the way you had hoped and you know what you're not going to be staying stuck there anymore you're like you know what I'm not doing this it didn't turn out that way I'm moving on all right we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here maybe this is your new love or this is you know who you have decided to move away from because we have the seven of cups up there that's a different choice okay make be careful what you choose all right so this is Pisces, oh not Pisces, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but this is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I think you may have decided to move away from one and another one could be coming in, okay? Because we have you right here and it's connected to both of them. So I think, you know, maybe you're releasing your thoughts, you're releasing a connection because you weren't getting the love that you desired from one of them. Okay, this is the Seven of Cups. And you've decided to really contemplate, you know, which is it? What am I going to do? I Finally, the truth has come out, all right, with that Ace of Swords right next to you, the Justice card. And I think, realize, I think that you have realized it's time for you to do the right thing. And maybe you have to make something final to do that. And I think maybe you already have, okay? No more faking. You can't pretend another minute. Okay, that's what this is. There's no more faking of a situation. This card is often the fake it till you make it card. And you can only fake it for so long if it doesn't make it. Okay? And I think that you've decided it is time to bring the security and the stability back. Because you want true love. Okay? This is true love. Right here. And it's somebody new. Hence the word new. This is new and this is new. Okay? So, I think that a new lover for the month of November is definitely probable, okay, for many of you. Um, it could lead to happiness, could lead to contentment in a relationship, but I think that many of you had to release um, the connection you had to a previous relationship because you were only deceiving yourself. Okay, you were deceiving yourself by pretending, by faking it, okay? By faking that everything was okay, by faking that this was right, that something was right. You know, really, really going to extremes, okay? You were resisting a change. It's like you were stuck. You were like, you know what, I'm just going to stay here and I'm going to wait and I'll wait forever. But I think that there's a breakthrough because we have this... Ace of Swords right next to you, which is the Justice card. I think there is a breakthrough where you're like, you know what? I'm ready for love. For real. And I deserve it. Okay? And I think there's no more crying over a loss. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I realize it was a loss. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to hang on to it anymore. It's time for a change. Okay? This depression has been overwhelming for me. And I'm no longer going to deceive myself. Because I'm looking for something new and exciting. And I think I do see new and exciting right around the corner here. Where you will be stable and secure in love. Where you don't have to fake a thing. You know, you've put in a lot. You have. You've really persevered. And you didn't get what you were hoping for. Okay? You've really put in a lot. You've put in a lot of work towards something. And it just didn't happen. And it affected your inner and outer beauty. It affected your soul in a very big way. Okay? And now it's over. And you've, you're like, you know what? It's over. It's this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be over with them. Okay? Because you realize that there's other choices. Right here with the Seven of Cups. You realize that there's other choices. There's realize, you realize that there could be another lover out there for you. Okay, if it's not that sign, it could be any sign. It really could because we all have other aspects in our chart. But because you finally made the decision to let something go, the world is here now. And it's going to bring you a union with somebody. Okay, that's going to be stable and secure. This world is a major completion. It's like you've learned a big lesson. You've just learned a big lesson. Celebrate your success, your new chapter. That's over. New love is coming for many of you. Many of you, you know, some people watching may not have um, cut the emotional cord yet. Okay, because the cord has to be cut before that happens. Okay. The, it really does. So if you've cut the cord, new love is coming that brings stability and security. If you haven't cut the cord, you're still deceiving yourself. <clears throat> this is acting on your hunches. This is a dare. Do you dare to do it? Do you dare to announce to the world that you are ready 
that you've learned your lesson? Are you, do you dare to put yourself out there again? This is saying, okay, are you ready for this new love? Are you? Because this is the rods of love. As soon as you put yourself out there, it's going to come fast. Okay? And it's a major transformation for you. Things are going to happen quickly. All right? And I think this is a love reading. It could be about a job. You can, you can, um, you can say that it is. If you're not in a relationship, you're not looking for one. You could be letting go of something that no longer serves you finally because you're, you're going to find something that you really love. Okay? This is where you put yourself out there and you're like, hey, I'm available. I'm ready. That's what this card is. It's like shouting out, I'm ready. Okay? And as soon as you are really, really ready and you announce it to the world and the universe... In yourself and you put yourself out there that's when this love is going to come and the world this new chapter starts and it leads to a major transformation something is ending there's no doubt about it with this one and this one right here something is ending so that something more beautiful can begin so I think this month of November is a new beginning Libra for you for love because you have decided to let something go and it's a very big deal. You've learned a huge lesson. Huge. And it's time for that new chapter to start. All right? It is. And it brings security, stability, abundance, and love. And the basis of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, the Knight of Cups along with the uh, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think many of you, you know, it could be any sign, so don't hold that. But I think many of you are saying goodbye to a situation that you have put way, way too much time and work into and it did not turn out the way you had hoped. You'd put too much work into something and it did not turn out the way you had hoped. But the universe hears and feels and knows that you have decided to end it. You have decided to let it go. If you really have, if you've cut the cord, cut the communication, okay? That's when they know. When there's no more communication, they know that you've made the right steps and they bring this good luck in, this good fortune, this new love. This is new love, romance, okay? Because you're no longer resisting it. It's like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. That's what he's hollering. I'm ready. Creative Project. This is your Angel Guidance card. And I am going to read it. This is for the month of November. 2017. I just wanted to get in there right. This is an Angel Guidance card. Creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion toward your life. Makes a lot of sense. I think your creativity is soaring with this Empress card in the for the month of November. And then your beauty is going to shine inside and out. And it's all because you let something go that is no longer serving you. So for November, Libra, I see that there is a potential for new love to enter your life or to... Um, step it up a notch if you're in a relationship. If there's been any strife in a relationship, it could be over. All right? It could be. But I think for the majority of you, it's a new love. And this wasn't intended to be a love reading, but I really think it is. Talk to you later, Libra.